PMAG Movies, back, baby, for a brand new PMAG Movies haul video. We got an Amazon hoard here from over the past, I don't know, several weeks. Um, some random deals thrown in here, the buy two, get one deals, um, some Amazon Prime Day deals, beer me, um, and let, I, mean, I think that's everything. Let's take a look at what old PMAC uh, grabbed, including some deals that were very, very limited time if you were quick on the ball. Let's take a look at what I got. Um, so firstly, we got a couple 4Ks. These are movies that I did not necessarily need in 4K, um, but I was like, they came up five bucks each on Amazon. They're not gonna be five bucks for very long. The digital codes are worth most of that. So I grabbed um, Hitman's Bodyguard here, which isn't that, I mean, it's an okay movie. It's a fun one. I do have it on on Blu-ray, um, but for five bucks and I sold, the, I sold, I got like 450 for the code. So beer me, beer me some Hitman's Bodyguard. And I know the sequel's out or whatever. This is, um, Mark Wahlberg and this director, Peter Berg, they made a bunch of, like, propaganda movies with, like, news stories and stuff. Um, so we got Deep Water Horizon is one of those. Um, one of the most important films of the year. Yeah, I haven't watched any of these Peter Berg, um, Mark Wahlberg movies, but, um, th you know, this was one of them. Pretty highly regarded, um... So got the 4K of this. You can see I haven't even opened it. I hate these little wrinkles they get on the spine. That really... Just unbelievable. But five bucks, that was a good deal. Um, let's go into the Amazon Prime Day deals and a few other random deals before I get into the buy two, get one. So this was one... I mean, everybody saw this one if you have Amazon Prime. It is Batman, the four-movie set. Um, they also had the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy. It looked like the box set did not have a digital di the digital codes with it, so I didn't get that one. Plus, I already have them. Um, so, I, but I did get this one because I do have. I got Batman 1989 on 4K. I got it for a really really good bargain. But you know, I'll be able to sell that off. It has the slip cover and everything. Um, I was disappointed kind of with this set. Now, I, I love the movies. Um, you know, the first two are, are really good ones, the Tim Burton ones. Um, I've heard that some people think that PMAC's a huge fan of, of one of the other ones for some reason. Like, it was a really dumb joke. But anyway, um, uh, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, still fun movies. They're definitely not as good as the first two. Um which Batman Returns is my favorite out of these, but uh, Batman, you, you know, the original one with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson is really good too. And then uh, Batman Forever kind of, while still fun, it's like going downhill, and then Batman and Robin, they just made totally a, a cheese fest. Um, but these remind me of my childhood. Unfortunately, you buy this nice box set, and it's usually like 90, 100 bucks. And it doesn't have the slippy dippies. It doesn't have the slippy dippies on these, which was kind of, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's an expensive box set, but they they don't do a ton with it. Um, that's kind of expected these days, though. And the box, you know, the box is is pretty flimsy. It's not like the box that uh, like Arrow Video would use, but uh, it actually held up in the shipping. It's in pretty good condition from Amazon. They actually shipped it in a box which is a shocker, but uh, glad to have these on 4K. I do enjoy these movies a, a great deal. Another thing is, I, they, I read in a review that these are remastered Blu-rays, so the Blu-rays are apparently better than the, um, you know, the original ones, which I do have. I, I find that kind of hard to believe, but, you know, that's what they said. Um, it doesn't say anything on this about, like, uh, you know, remastered Blu-rays, but... That's what it seemed like it said, so. Anywho. Take that out of there. Up next, um, 
this is something of a trilogy, I guess. They call it the Cornetto Trilogy. This, I was like, eh, I'm not going to get that, but then I decided to get it. It's 20 bucks. It comes with the code. It is this Cornetto Trilogy with Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End. I enjoy Shaun of the Dead. That's a fun one. Hot Fuzz is definitely my favorite out of the three. Really good movie. Definitely got some like conspiracy elements to it, some comedy. I really enjoy that one. The World's End, um, I've, I've had trouble getting into that one for some reason. It's not bad, but I just, out of these three, it's probably the weakest for me. I have them all on Blu-ray. They're probably totally fine on Blu-ray, especially The World's End, which was the newest one out of these. But, um, you know, Hot Fuzz is one of my favorite movies. It is a 5 out of 5 PMAC classic. So I wanted to get that. And then, you know, the code. there's one code that redeems for all three of these. I, I prefer a, a separate code for each movie, but what can you do? So it's got it's a combo pack, so you got the 4K and the Blu-ray for each of the three movies. And then I, I have like the steel books and stuff for a few of these. So I can kind of just get rid of all that stuff and just have this this one. I don't need all the the steel book and everything. No reason for those once I got this. Um, some other things that I got that weren't buy two get one. This was a few weeks ago. They had a day where um first they had like a Doctor Who day or something. So uh, they had the Peter Davison set and the John Pertwee Doctor Who, uh, this is Pertwee Season 4, Complete Season 4, Davison Season 1, um, and these were less than $30 each. I think one was 25 and one was 27 or 28 something like that. So they're still kind of pricey, but that's the cheapest these have ever been. Uh, the Pertwee one actually came like it didn't have the factory sealing on it it was just like in a bag that amazon put on so it, was, it looked like it was a return but i checked all the discs and they seem to be fine so um i don't know it's kind of it was kind of strange like i'm wondering if there's something wrong with this set but everything looked to be mint so i didn't complain about it and then the davison set did have like the you know the weak wrap on it but i look at that it's all wrinkled wrinkled up nasty on the one side and this side's like fine kind of weird but uh anywho i haven't complained about that either but uh the rest of these are all buy two get one it was a good deal now what made this a good deal for some of these scream factories is i believe it was barnes and noble was doing a 40 percent off so these scream and shout factories were 40 percent off barnes and noble Amazon would price match, and for a short time, some of these would be the 40% off price match through Barnes & Noble and the buy two get one, which I just remembered. I forgot a few that I got from this buy two get one. Son of a gun. I always forget and leave movies upstairs. It's a beautiful day here. New York State, out in the country. Beautiful sunny day. We're going to take a walk up to the PMAC movie room. And I actually opened the window in the movie room. And rain could get in if it rained, but I don't think it's going to rain this morning. Um, so let's see what I got here. Hopefully I have a copy of that one down there already, but... Yeah, if I grab it up here, it's going to just be confusing. So there was a few that had some, like, damage issues, and that's why that they got left up here. All right. I think that's everything. So, of course, I get to do some returns and stuff like that. All right. We're out of the movie room. We're going back down. This is why PMAC movies is so, so exciting. You never know what's going to happen in the videos. There's no cuts. There's no edits. That's just because you're lazy, PMAC. Shh. No negativity. Only positivity here on PMAC movies. Um, all right. So these are a couple that I need to figure out something with. But anyway, so let's take a look at what we got here. First, some box sets. This Poison Ivy set, which I was like, eh. 
but it dropped down plus with the buy two get one i just had to find two things around thirty dollars to pair it with to get this for around 25 bucks i'd like to get all these scream factory um sets this one not at the top of my list but it's four movies for 25 bucks that's a beer me and it actually came to me in pretty decent shape it did get get nicked there in the corner but from amazon you know that's that's a still pretty good um i paired that with uh back to the future which this one also yeah that corner got got it there you can you can find these in the store in mint condition so i i, I need a mint condition back to the future um oh these got that horrible packaging too oh I hate, that's where you pull them out. They're, oh, man, maybe I should just return that. I hate that packaging so much. And then um, this was one that I had my eye on at the 30 buck mark. Shogun. I believe this was a mini series. It is nine hours and eight minutes from 1980. It is a three-disc set. Toshiro Maifun is in this. It's from Paramount. So to be able to get this for 20 bucks with the deal was a beer me because I had actually looking at been looking into getting that. Um I should do it in like price ranges. Well, I'll show you what I got. Um first I got Exorcist 2 the Heretic here. This uh they again they did the price match. It was like twenty one bucks. Buy two get one for a brief amount of time until they caught that it they caught it. They caught it for a lot of these. Hey, we're, we still got the buy to get one, get rid of the AI, really. It wasn't like a person's catching it. It's like their their AI or whatever kept, caught it. Um, this is from 1977. Now, the thing about this is I already have this in a Exorcist set. And it's like, do I really need this? No. However, this one has a cut of it that I'm pretty sure is not on that Warner Brothers one. It has... Um, I, I I don't know if they call it like the John Borman cut. Um, it says two to set containing two cuts of the film, 117 minute and 102 minute versions. 2K, 2K scan of both. Uh, audio commentary with director John Borman on the longer cut. So this is this is interesting. I've actually never seen this movie, and I've really heard some like mostly negative stuff about it, but it's some some good stuff too. And um, so I was pretty interested in this one. And I snagged it up. The first copy that I got, which is upstairs, was absolutely destroyed. It had like a big hole in it. The slip cover was all, it was like it was all crushed up. And I actually opened it up because one of the discs in this set needed a, to be taken out and replaced. And the, the, the case was all cracked and shattered at the top. It was destroyed. And so I got a replacement. This one, I mean, for, for Amazon, this one's pretty decent. Um, it's st still not mint, like that corner you can see there, but that's about as good as old PMAX is going to get from Amazon. Um, let's see, some other ones in that range. I don't know that, oh, you know, another one that was in that range was this one. Loved Craft Country. This was like 21 or 22, and then the buy two get one. One that I had my eye on, and it does have the digital code. This is another one. Where the first copy that I received was in like the Amazon bag and a bag that they had put on it like it was opened. And it, this is weird. And it looked like it was in excellent condition. I open up, there's no digital code. There was no digital code with it. Everything else looked mint. So it was like, did somebody just take the digital code and return this? So I asked for a replacement, got one with the digital code. Um, I don't, I don't know what else I got, but maybe this, you know, this one was around 20 bucks, uh, Dragonheart, the five movie set here, um, with Slippy, so all five Dragonheart movies with, does it have a, I think it has one, yeah, it has one code for all five movies, Universal's doing that now. So that was an, another $20 one that I got. Um, a movie that I just had my eye on for a while. I've never owned it on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, maybe paying a little bit more than I wanted, but um, it's one of the Universal, like, 
they print it on demand or whatever, so these stay pretty expensive. Junior with Arnold and Danny DeVito. I was actually watching this a little bit last night. It's not really that great, but uh, need all the Arnolds on Blu-ray. There was a bunch of them that were like almost $20 or over $20 that dropped to $18, and I had like placed multiple orders, and then I have to return some copies. Um, one of those, Frankenstein, The True Story, this went from like 23 down to 18 and buy two, get one. So that was a really nice beer me. Holy Motors was another one, um, which again, I received a damaged copy at first for this one and I had to get a replacement, which the replacement, uh, the bottom latch does not, it must be broken. I'm not actually seeing where it's broken though. Oh, that it must be. I don't even see where it's broken off. That's kind of weird, but it's... Yeah, the latch isn't there anyway. But uh, Holy Motors read good things about this movie. This is a Shout Select. So I'll just stick with that broken latched one. Um, this one might have been... Tw this one was pretty pricey, actually. Uh, Stephen King's Thinner. This is one that... Um, I probably should have gotten this in one of those like deep discount olive film sales in the past, but now I don't think it even qualifies. So this is probably about as cheap as I'm going to be able to get this one. This is another one that I, I ordered a replacement for. It's got a, you can see that's beat up right there, and it has a loose disc, so I didn't even open it. I'm just going to send it back to him. This one was 18 and buy two, get one, a recent release, Perry Mason, which I have watched part of it. It's decent, but nothing like great. 476 minutes here. Um, so to be able to get it for 12 bucks with the code was a good deal. Another one for, I got around the $17 mark. I do actually already have this, but this is the Prophecy Complete Collection. Now the cool thing about this is um, it's got all five movies on two discs, but it's got five codes. So it's got a code for each movie in here. I do have like the, the Echo Bridge one, but this this is going to be the same, but this has the code with it. That's the only difference. Uh, this ended up being like 16 or 15 something buy two, get one, Ghost Story. So this was one I kind of wanted, and then when it dropped down to that cheap, I was like, or how much? This was might have been less than, I think this ended up being less than 10 bucks, which would have made it less than 15 by two get one so th this got to be a really good deal for this screen factory ghost story which i've heard some pretty decent things about um another one i was kind of like eh, but it dropped down to 18 by two get one i don't know that it's ever going to be cheaper it is gate two from 1990 93 minutes i do have the first gate from vestron so I'll grab that one another one this was a pretty recent release it is The Hand, starring Michael Caine, which I watched this movie, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, from 1980, 104 minutes, and Scream Factory, you know, they, I've talked about this in my live video. They've started, even, you know, this is like something that you're paying boutique prices for, 25 bucks or whatever, when it came out. Still probably, now that the buy two, get one deals are over, you know, um, it's... 20 or more dollars or whatever and it's just a cheap like you know the cases that lion's gate uses it's just a cheap crap case so now you're getting things like it's you know it's getting dented up messed up and dented up which is really a shame you get the little wrinkle on the side i don't know if you can really see it but it's a shame and it, it, it's an enjoyable movie um i read good things about this this was like 13 something buy two get one so i grabbed this sputnik scream factory i might actually watch this today i gotta set this aside it sounds like a really good sci-fi movie with slippy so it ends up being less than 10 bucks this one was nine dollars before the buy two get one fat man starring mel gibson which is a pretty fun movie i've seen most of it this has like a weird i don't know if you can see that it's got like a slash there but it doesn't look like it must be like a blade kind of went into that a little bit, but I don't think it went into the artwork. Just a pain in the ass returning these, so I guess I'm just keeping that. And then another one that was pretty cheap, I think this was around nine also, Sabrina, here with Humphrey Bogart and uh, Aubrey, uh, Audrey Hepburn and William Holden. 
And then, um, this wasn't a buy to get one, but this was like nine bucks. Best Buy had it for nine bucks and Amazon price matched it. Uh, Jojo Rabbit. Um, it just really hasn't dropped in price and I was finally able to, to get it for a pretty good deal, nine bucks. And I actually went to Best Buy and saw some copies in store, but they were like, they were kind of beat up even in store. So I just took my chances with Amazon and of course you get the spine wrinkle. These spine wrinkles are just, that, that's got to be a new thing on PMAG movies, a spine wrinkle. Um, I just... I just hate it so much. Anywho, that is it. And I have to close the windows because it is starting to get r quite humid and hot in here. Um, thanks for watching PMAG Movies. If you enjoy the channel, take a look in the description section for ways to help out. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about my haul here. What have you gotten from Amazon lately? What did you get from Prime Day, what did you get during their buy two, get one sales? Did you get any of these nice shout and scream factories? Let me know in the comments below on PMAC Movies.